Uh. Sorry, I had to concentrate. But what happened was, I was told that I needed to finish filling out a form really quick. And it was, it was okay, because the form that I was going to fill out was a really quick form, because they already made me fill it out like five other times, because someone's being incompetent and keeps messing it up. So I'm like, okay, cool, this, this will take, this will be a GIF. I can get that done and get the hell out of here. Well, I go back to work, actual work to uh, get that filled out. And then there is this douchebag. There is this douchebag that I fucking hate. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. This douchebag that I absolutely want to destroy. He, our our company, our little our little shop. It has a duty for no reason. There is the most pointless duty in the world inside, and the duty is phone watch. It's someone who is designated to sit there and listen for the phone because you know the other 50 million people walking around the building just can't take the time to pick up the phone if they're close by to it. Like, are you fucking serious? In my last unit, if you were close by to the phone, you would pick it up. It was simple. It was straightforward. It got the job done. 100% accuracy, unless we were on lunch or something. And in that case, there would always be someone posted, because there's always at least one person who feels like not leaving for lunch. Ridiculous. And not to mention that I served this phone watch Almost, almost a hundred percent more than anyone else. In the month of October, I was on it at least once a week when you're really only supposed to have it for one day. I was on at least once a week, so on a good week I only had it once. Not to mention that, what, you completely missed the rope that time, Laura. And this is not to mention that there's also barracks duty, which is pulled from the entire unit, that you're only supposed to get maybe once a month. It's either once or none. Well, I had it twice, because I had a cover for people. Now, I was not a happy camper when I showed up to fill out my paperwork on Friday to find out that this douchebag that I've covered for almost every time he's had it, which is often because he's always put on it because he never finishes his duty because he skates out of it like a weasel. And, you know, out of the goodness of my heart, his reasons are always, at least, one second, at least somewhat legitimate because, you know, he had it to the urinalysis. What am I going to say? I can't say no. But the only problem was is that he is the same rank as me and we were the only two people at the rank of E3 or below. Usually uh, E1s, E2s, and E3s stand the post. Very rarely does an E4 stand the post and I honestly don't think E4 should have to stand that horrible post at all because I think they rate that much. But, uh, even though, even though I was on the field op, they knew for a month that my name was for that field op. They put my name down for one hour of lunch relief. That's where I come back at 12 o'clock and relieve the guy for an hour so he can get some lunch. And guess what? It's 1.10. He hasn't been relieved yet. Well, usually, if... People like me are TAD or temporarily assigned to duty somewhere else. They'll just find someone else to stand the duty. I mean, come on, it's an hour. It's not bad. I've done it a million times against my will, even though I shouldn't have to do it a million times. Well, uh, this asshole thinks that it's fair to ask me, who hasn't eaten for about 12 hours, oh shit, who hasn't eaten for about 12 hours, who's been up for 12 hours on the night post, who's been in the field... 
<sighs> and he wants to get a lunch relief this and do his urinalysis. You down to the wheel. Can't have a wheel without a couple of Who does this guy think he is? No. But I can't it's say no because the done. urinalysis was important. No one had any control over it. It had to be done. So I'm like, you know what? I have to do it. In business, in all good business sense, I have to do it. In all good business sense, I had to do it, no matter what. I was just upset that he asked me just probably because he knew I wasn't going to say no. I never say no. I'm not going to say no, I'm not going to do your duty. I'm, I'm this thing you call a team player. I don't go around buddy fucking the shit out of other people because I don't want to stand a duty. I wait patiently. And oh boy, did I have to be patient. It was... I was already off. My shift was over. I needed to get some fucking sleep. I didn't eat. I was tired. I held my piss for like three hours against my will. I was done. I was done. It took two hours for someone else to show up to relieve me. Because that little asshole disappeared somewhere. Like usual. This place is going to fill up with water. That little asshole disappeared. I was unhappy as fuck. Uh, what do I do now? Oh, actually, I forgot a part of that story. When I started that shift at midnight, it was about 1 o'clock, I decided to go to the bathroom. Oh my god. My, one of my no nostrils just started gushing blood, because I was dehydrated, I was, it was over for me, like. And then when I finally got that cleaned up, my other nose nostrils started bleeding. Something I could move. That's fragile. I'm not so sure what to do for this room. Yeah, so my day was already going pretty bad at that. Not to mention the, the shift before that on the previous day. I, uh, I think the lunch I bought gave me a very mild case of food poisoning because I had I was pretty sick after I ate. Oh, Laura, come on. Oh. I am so glad that after all that hell, I'm finally free for a month. It was, it was bullshit. Oh, my God. Like, it's not even like the, the unit did that to me. This one guy, this one guy just ruined my day. He ruined my... I guess I can't call it a right, because it's military, but... He ruined my only hope to have a good day. Because at that point, I was just getting off at the same time as everyone else, even though I was already on rest period. Oh my god. It was a bad day. But now I'm here. Uh, just waiting for my plane to leave in two days. I got a free ride. Hopefully I'll meet some of the other guys from Obabo Jaga. Uh, we'll meet up and have some fun. Party a little bit. Land parties. I'm actually rather introverted when it comes to Marines hanging out, because... I'm not all for this. Oh, let's go drink, guys. It's, it'll be it'll be fun. 
let's let's drink, and then we can play cards while we're drinking, and then we can go, and then we can go buy alcohol while we're drinking, and then we can go, we can talk while we're drinking. I'm like, oh my god, does everyone in the fucking military have to be an alcoholic? It is lame. You guys are the most uninteresting people I could possibly meet.